Hey everyone, uh, this is Ruler and I'm going to be doing this video on add-ons that I use um, and this one's going to be focused on UI setup. Uh, this is going to be one of three I plan on doing. So um, let's get right into it. Uh, so we're going to start with an add-on called Action Bar Saver. Now this is really awesome for when you're switching specs or you're dropping a spec and picking up a new one and you gotta set up all your buttons it's kinda of time consuming a little bit annoying uh, what action bar saver does is it does exactly what it says it saves your action bars uh, saves your button position what buttons and all that kinda of stuff so I'm gonna show you here if you go slash abs in chat here it'll bring up a, a, a list of commands that you can use um, so we got ABS restore, that'll restore any of your profiles you've saved, slash ABS save, same, <laughs> saves your profile, and ABS list, in case you forget what you have saved, you can go slash ABS list, and it'll bring up your list. Now one thing to keep in mind that these are profiles saved to um, a certain class, because obviously you don't have all the same buttons on different classes. So you want to make sure you keep that in mind that if you want to save a profile that it's bound to that class. So I'm going to show you how it works real quick. Basically right now, this is my normal setup. This is uh, for my unholy spec. Say I, I switch to blood and, whoops, so let's actually switch. Wow, that is not the right spot. So I'm going to switch to blood and you'll see that the buttons will get kind of moved around okay so we have we have blood set up here now it is actually set to my blood but if I go so ABS restore so this is to get a profile you've already made uh, let's go B PVP DK it'll change all my buttons now it's all messed up um, so if I want to make sure I want to get my tank stuff back I just go slash ABS restore to my blood which is blood 2015 boom now all my but buttons are back in the right position everything's a-okay now to make sure you want to save what you have it's really simple slash abs save whatever you want to call it so I'm gonna call it blood 2015 video and I'll save it boom save profile and uh, that's all it is it's really simple uh, it's really useful um, for when you want to switch out of specs. So that's it for that add-on. Um, highly recommend it if you're switching a lot of specs. It's um, it can be really tedious when you have to reset every single time. So that's Action Bar Saver. Um, the next one I'm going to talk about here is. Uh, bartender. Bartender is pretty popular. You may have heard of it. You may already use it, uh, but I'm going to give you a quick rundown. I'm not going to go into specifics, how to keybind and all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to give you a quick overview of what it does and why I use it. Now, bartender, uh, if we go slash bartender, or bring up a menu. And here you can see it has all the bars. You can enable them, disable them, all that kind of stuff. It has all these extra bars. Blizzard art bar you can even still use if you want. Um, all that kind of stuff. Now what I really like about Bartender is it has profiles the same as ABS um, and you can basically copy from any previous Bartender that you've made up. So say you have a tune, you have it all set up, it's perfect the way you want it, and then you make a new tune and it's like, oh, everything's back to Blizzard UI and you're just like, oh my god, why? So here is where you would basically you would grab the profile from uh, that you made previous on a previous tune, say your tune was named Atina, and you wanted your new existing profile, Ruler 2015, to be the same as what you have on Atina. And you just go copy from Atina. Boom. I don't have anything set up for her, but that's what would happen. It would switch to that. You do not, you do not want to choose from here. That can be a problem. It can cause issues with. Say you say you have say you choose a Tina here and you make changes to it. It's going to change on the other tune as well. So you want to make sure you just copy from. Um, it's probably the safest way to do it when you're creating a new tune and wanting to use Bartender. Um, so if you want to uh, change the keybinds, you just say keybind. 
uh, escape will erase, will remove the keybind, and then you can just whoop, hit the button and you're good to go. Um, I use character specific keybindings just to avoid any like weird changes that I may do to other tunes. Like I just want to avoid that at all costs. Um, I recommend it using character specific. Um, also, if you have your little button here, if you right click, or sorry, not right click, left click, um, it'll bring up your bars being able to move. So you can just move them wherever you want. Um, I, it comes with a bar snapping, so you can see if I move it, it's kind of snapping to a, where it thinks you want it. I generally don't use bar snapping, it just makes it so I can move it exactly to where I want it to um, with ease. Um, but you can use either way, it doesn't, it's total preference to you. Um, so, and uh, that's basically it for bartender. Um, so, uh, and and I think most people use bartender for obviously the ease of just having things all on your on your bar nice and easily. But um, the main reason I use it and some other people use it is for visualizing where your buttons are in correspondence to where your buttons are in your keyboard. And for me, I use a Logitech G13 gamepad, which is very just a block of buttons. So this way, that's why I have it uh, as a block instead of maybe the way a keyboard looks, um, removing WASD and all that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, and uh, that's it's really good. If you want to, uh, it's really useful if you want to get into hotkeying. You're kind of you've been a clicker since vanilla, and you're not sure how to approach it. Bartender is a great place to start uh, key binding. So, um, yeah, highly recommend Bartender if you're looking for something that's uh, customizable and works for you visually and stuff like that. Um, so moving on to the next thing uh, that I want to talk about is called Move Anything. Now this add-on is really 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 good if you hate the position of things <laughs> for, for example if you say have overlapping panels so you have your spell book over top of your character panel or vice versa and it's get because your screen is maybe a bit too small or whatever it may be the case move anything basically fixes that for you so if I go here you'll see I have move anything so I click move anything boom it brings up a list of everything uh, all the categories that your panels or tooltips or whatever may be in so uh, for example uh, we have achievements here boom this is where my achievements pop up this is where I've moved it to if I reset it and click the mover again boom this is where it, it, the default setting of achievements open up um, and say you have your character screen overlapping that or vice versa and you're like okay this is getting really annoying so all you have to do is click mover on here boom and you can move it wherever you want you can move it completely off your screen if you want you can move it down here you can move it up here wherever you want to move it that's where you can move it to I'm gonna put it back over here um, yeah and say you don't like that position anymore and you just wanted to go back default really easy you can hit reset it'll it'll bring you back to where it originally was so um, and sometimes there is issues where you want to move something very specific um, and it's hard to find in here um, it, that's probably the biggest issue with this uh, add-on it's a little bit finicky to try and actually find very specific things but eventually you'll kind of learn and you can search as well at the bottom here you can try and find what you're looking for um, so say you want to move tooltip it brings you all the different tooltips, tooltips over there. You know, I moved it over there, and all that kind of stuff. So it's, it's, it can be finicky, but it's, I think, really useful tool, to not only customize but to maybe fix some uh, overlapping issues that you may have um, while playing. So highly recommend it. And what's really awesome about this is it's the same as Bartender and ABS. It has profile. So say you have everything moved on your one tune and you want to have everything in the same position on another tune, you just go to options up here, O, and boom, export your profile and then import your profile and it'll be all set up for you. Um, it's great for when you're trying to you make a new tune and you're trying to set up as quickly as possible to get going. It's another thing, um, really awesome thing uh, to do is just to have a profile ready. Uh, so yeah, uh, 
again, highly recommend it for if you're having uh, UI issues or just want to have um, some customization uh, to your UI. So uh, that's it for uh, Move Anything. Let's I get rid of that. Uh, so the final thing I want to talk about is uh, really nice if you want to keep track of uh, your cooldowns or uh, just uh, your runes for DKs and all that kind of stuff. It's called Omni CC. And Omni CC, if we open it up here, it's basically what it does is it shows you the cooldown of stuff. It's a cooldown counter is basically what it is. So here you can customize it, you can enable it all, you can change text styles, you can change uh, the colors of it, you can even change the position of where it pops up on your buttons and I'll show you what it does here. And so if I go over here and I use my runes, boom, my runes are all depleted and it's giving, t telling me when my runes are going to come up and when I can use this spell again. Now using a big cooldown, boom, it shows me three minutes uh, down on my spell here. So it tells me in three minutes it's going to be back up. That's what Omni CC does. It tells you times and it's really useful for when you are trying to line spells up for uh, say bloodlust and a, a, a raid boss um, you want to know when you're going to be able to uh, use that spell again um, if it's going to be up for the next fight and all that kind of stuff you want to uh, if you want to organize your spells and all that kind of stuff better Omni CC is really good for that so highly recommend it if you want to keep track of your spells, of your timers, and all that good stuff. Um, so, yeah, um, I, that is my video on uh, the add-ons I use for your UI. Um, I, the next video I plan on doing will be about uh, raid tools, so basically things that will be beneficial to you when you're raiding, all that kind of stuff. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I really want to know your feedback, whether it's good or bad. Please let me know. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. Um, I'll do my best to answer them. Um, all of the add-ons I will link into the description below. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.